Welcome to the California Immunization Registry Training video, Patient Search and Demographics. This video will highlight the following training objectives. Searching for existing patients in care, where to enter a new patient into care, comprehensive overview of the demographic screen, and editing an existing patient demographic information. Because CARE receives immunization information from multiple provider sources, including birth record downloads, you will always attempt to find a patient in CARE before entering them as a new patient. To search for a patient in CARE, click on Patient Search under the Patients menu group on the menu panel. It is important to note that there are several options for finding patients in CARE. You can search by Patients, at least two fields, medical record number or care ID or legacy care ID. For this example, we are trying to find Liza Liu. For example, when using the search by patient criteria, entering the first three letters of the patient's last name, along with the first two letters of the first name, will allow a search since at least two fields are required. If multiple records are found matching the criteria you entered, a table listing up to 75 matches with detailed information on each patient will be shown below the Patient Search Criteria section. To choose a patient from the list, click on the patient's last name hyperlink. If no patient matched the search criteria, review search criteria information you entered for accuracy. If you suspect that the patient has not been entered into care, you may click on the Add New button and it will be brought to an empty demographic screen. The demographic page allows you to update or change specific non-immunization information relating to any patient in care. The demographic page is divided into the following sections. Personal information, patient aka, organization information, patient information, address information, responsible persons, patient comments, and patient notes. Personal Information section. The Personal Information section at the top of the demographic page contains patient-specific information used primarily to identify patients when conducting patient searches. All fields shown in blue text with an asterisk are required. Note, mother's maiden last name is only required for children 18 and under. When entered into care, this field will display as on file. This is for confidentiality reasons. Mother's maiden last name is vital in identifying potential duplicate patient records. Saving patient information. There are several buttons located in the upper right hand corner of the demographic page which will save patient updates. Save. When pressed, the save button will save all information on the patient demographic page. The message, patient record successfully saved, will appear above the personal information header. History Recommend. As with the Save Command button, the History Recommend Command button will save all information fields. Once the information is saved, the Patient's History Recommend page will display. Reports. As with the Save Command button, the Reports Command button will save all information fields. Once the information is saved, the Reports available for Patient page will display. Cancel. When pressed, the Cancel button clears any newly entered information and does not save it into care then opens the patient's search page. The remaining sections of the demographic page are located at the bottom of the screen. To open any of these sections, click on the arrows icon. The first section is patient also known as. The patient also known as section gives additional information about the patient name. Last name and first name are required fields. Selecting the add new AKA button will update the patient AKA section. To close this section, click on the arrow icon. To open the organization information section, click on the arrow icon. Organization information. The organization information section shows organization specific information about the patient. Status. Choose active from the drop down list if you want this patient to be associated with your organization meaning he or she is receiving services from you. When you specify a patient as inactive, you make him or her inactive for your organization only. Provider PCP. 
fill in the patient's primary care physician, PCP, from the drop-down list if provided. This information is used only for reporting. Tracking schedule. This required field defaults to the Advisory Committee on Immunization Practices, or ACIP, schedule. Allow reminder and recall contact. Choosing yes from the drop-down list, you are allowing reminder recall notices to be sent to the patient when you run the reminder recall report. If the patient's parent chooses not to have reminder recall notices sent, choose no from the drop-down list to exclude the patient from the report. Medical record numbers. A patient may have numerous medical record numbers associated with him or her. Each ID is organization dependent. To enter a medical record number, type in your organization's medical record number for the patient and click on the Add Medical Record Number button. Multiple medical record numbers can be saved and a primary medical record number can be set. Click on the arrow icon to close this section. Select Patient Information. Patient Information. The Patient Information section gives additional information about the patient, such as race, ethnicity, care IDs, occupation, and language spoken. Additionally, this is where you will find the relevant information related to patient disclosure and patient sharing. Click on the arrow icon to close this section. Next, select Address Information. Address Information. The Address Information section allows you to identify the current address of the patient. No viable address. Mark this checkbox if information was sent to the patient and the information was returned as not deliverable. Enter the remaining address fields for the patient. Press the Save button at the top of the screen to update this section. Clicking the View Patient Address History link will present a window with the patient's address history. Click on the arrow icon to close the section. Select Responsible Persons. Responsible Persons. The Responsible Persons section allows you to identify patient emergency contact information. The only required fields under this section are the last name, first name, and relationship fields. To review or edit an existing Responsible Person entry, click on the Review Radio button next to the name of the person you wish to edit. After reviewing or editing Responsible Persons, select Apply Changes to update this section. Remember to hit Save before exiting the page. To remove an existing Responsible Person, select the Remove checkbox next to the record you wish to delete on the Responsible Person listing table. Click on the Remove button. Save your work at the top of the screen. To enter a new Responsible Person, click the Add New button. After completing the Responsible Person entry, click on Apply Changes to update this section. Click on the arrow icon to close this section. Select Patient Comments. Patient Comments. The Patient Comments section allows you to enter immunization-related comments, such as contraindication information for a patient. As you can see, the example patient has an existing comment of history of varicella or chickenpox. Patient comments, such as history of varicella or chickenpox, or prior anaphylactic reaction to a vaccine, may affect the immunizations recommended for the patient elsewhere in care. To enter a new comment, choose the appropriate comment or contraindication from the patient comment drop-down list. You must enter a start date. If applicable, an end date can be entered. Select Add Comment to update the section. To remove an existing comment, select the Remove checkbox next to the comment you wish to delete on the Patient Comment Listing table. Click the Remove button and then press Save at the top of the page. Click on the arrow icon to close this section. Select Patient Notes. Patient Notes. The Patient Notes section allows you to enter notes for a patient. Enter the patient note in the free text field below. Click on the Save button located at the top of the page to update the section. Patient notes cannot be deleted once entered, so please use discretion. As the on-page warning states, please do not include confidential information in a patient note, 
as patient notes can be viewed by any provider organization with access to the registry. Click on the arrow icon to close the section. In summary, the demographic page will allow you to update an existing patient's information and care. Remember to press save after entering new information or making any edits. Helpful reminders. You must search for a patient before entering them as new. Use the new patient button from the search screen to enter a new patient into care. Complete all required fields on the demographic screen before clicking on save. For additional care support, reference the care user manual located under the forms tab on the care login page at the URL listed on the screen. Or contact the care help desk, phone number is 800 578-7889 or send an email to carehelpdesk at cdph.ca.gov.